Treshka of the 6th generation, F-30, is listed as the most reliable among the Bavarians. It is no coincidence that it has always accounted for a large volume of sales. In fact, this is a kind of entrance ticket to the brand, except for the penny, and for many this ticket can be lucky, buying such a car is not very easy. This is known not only by specialists, but also by those who have already changed many cars of different brands. Many motors, configurations, versions, it is not easy to choose the good from the best. Yes, and to understand today what price will be adequate for a particular car, it can be problematic. After all, the equipment of the F30 still plays a significant role. There were and are many versions. The enumeration alone, taking into account the pre-styling and updated model, takes up a lot of lines. But we'll still try. So, the F30 gasoline 3 rubles are 316i and 318i. 136 horsepower, 320i, 184 horsepower, 328i, 245 horsepower, 330i, 252 horsepower, 335i, 306 horsepower, S, 340i, 326 horsepower, diesel, 316d, 116 horsepower, 318d, 143 and 150 horsepower, 320d, 184 and 190 horsepower, 325d, 218 horsepower, 330d, 258 horsepower, 335d, 318 horsepower. There is also a hybrid version of the 330e with 340 horses, but this is exotic in our latitudes. An 8-speed automatic is available on most models, including those with all-wheel drive. But you can find mechanics, there were plenty of amateurs, as well as a 6-speed automatic transmission. We mean that it will not be easy to choose on the market. And our traditional advice about the most preferred option here, alas, does not work. There are no outright weaklings among all these versions. We would recommend caution when choosing a 316i, since this engine, as the cheapest, according to statistics, is twisted more than others, losing sight of the oil level. It is also a delusion that the 316th model can be chipped into 320, or even 328. It is impossible. And here, in principle, we could recommend the 320i as having a larger margin of safety for the engine and an impressive tuning potential. When choosing such a car, you should not look for special weaknesses. They are simply not here. It all depends on the discipline of the previous owners. And to catch by the hand a carelessly maintained, poorly repaired or driven car is possible only with the help of service specialists. Such cars, alas, are not serviced in Uncle Vasya's garage. It's just that Uncle Vasya doesn't understand them anymore. If, nevertheless, to summarize the most common problems, then among the main experts there are breakdowns of the steering rack, and engine coking, especially for the 316i version, increased oil consumption, weak and often broken suspension. A common problem is the high cost of maintenance. But the quality of branded components, which are significantly cheaper than the original ones, is already quite decent. And if we are not talking about the vital organs of the car, then it is quite possible to replace the original with them. We need a serious look after numerous electronic systems, there are questions about shock absorbers, which really do not like temperature changes. Well, for diesel engines, the cornerstone is the wear of fuel injectors and a high level of demands on diesel fuel. We sincerely do not recommend saving on brake systems, at least on the front axle. The frisky BMW engines and the considerable weight of the cars, especially with engines with a volume of 3.0 liters or more, require a fair amount of endurance from the brakes. First of all, in terms of temperature. And this is only possible with original discs and pads. The front pads are supplied to the conveyor by Galfer and Jurid, the rear pads by Texter. With a suspension, such rigor is, perhaps, useless. Moreover, there were plenty of complaints about the native rear suspension of the F30. Knocking racks at first even changed under warranty. Then, however, the problem was localized. In general, the main complaints about this car come down to trifles. Such, for example, as the involuntary fury of the janitors, who begin to hack at maximum speed. Or when the car loses the remote chip key. Bad story. And how to fix it on the road is unknown. The most offensive words go to gasoline 3 rubles, which refuse to keep the engine speed after a cold start. The culprit seems to be also found, the engine control unit. But you can't get into it with a screwdriver and a wrench. And each visit to the service is an impressive amount. What can you do? premium in a word you have already understood that the sixth generation of bmw's three ruble note with the right approach to buying it will not deliver unpleasant and unexpected surprises this car like no other loves attention to itself 
and when she gets it, she is ready to pay, guaranteeing driving pleasure, excellent dynamics and maximum comfort on long trips. Compared to the previous E90, the F30 suspension is considered not as stiff. However, we still recommend avoiding the pits. Rigidity still feels considerable, and particularly strong vibrations on the road can be transmitted to the steering wheel. By the way, many here are not enthusiastic about soundproofing. The work of the 8-speed automatic transmission from ZF causes only positive emotions. But do not forget about changing the oil in the gearbox, which experts recommend doing every 60 to 80,000 km. Myths about maintenance-free units, in our opinion, are just a marketing ploy. One of the A elements affects the drive of the gas distribution mechanism. The service life of chains and couplings is designed for 150 to 180,000 km. A loose chain can jump a few teeth or break. In the first case, pistons and valves can avoid meeting, in the second case, expensive repairs are provided.